लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब ये इस चैनल के तीन स्तंभ है इन्हें दबाइए और आज की वीडियो को एंजॉय करें नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक so till now in the videos of linear regression we have seen that we have some data points and we calculate the best fit line and we find we calculate the model parameters for that line now the question arises that with what accuracy we have calculated those coefficients now how this term of accuracy came into the picture of calculating these coefficients why we need to assess the accuracy and how do we calculate the accuracy these questions are answered in this video and one more thing just to highlight that this accuracy and the accuracy with which model predicts the unknown data is totally different okay to access the accuracy of model we go for you know root mean square error or uh, mean square error or r square or adjusted r square but uh, the accuracy that i am talking about in this video is the accuracy of estimated coefficients okay like beta naught and beta 1 so these two are different things and we will see the first accuracy of uh, estimated coefficients in this video so let's go till now what we have seen that we have some data points such that x1 y1 up to xn comma yn okay we had some data points and their function could be given as f of x plus epsilon is equal to y Okay, so we try to estimate this function f, and we have estimated this as y as f cap x. Now we have put some restrictions on this calculation that the R M S E, or I must say the mean square error, or the R S S residual sum of residual squares must be minimum. So with this condition. With the minimization of this function, we have tried to estimate this function f. So by estimating this function, okay, by minimizing this function, we have obtained beta naught and beta one. Okay, beta naught and beta one, two coefficient such that it represents the best fit line on these data. Till now, we have done this much of things in machine learning or in the linear regression. Okay. first we have some points we have estimated we have to estimate a linear function so we try to find the sum of residual squares on the points and we try to find a, a minimization of that by putting the derivatives equal to 0 and by putting that derivatives equal to 0 we have obtained beta not and beta 1 so now the question arises that if we have done we have uh, you know put the derivative equal to 0 and we have obtained beta not and beta 1 then why there is need to calculate the accuracy of the estimated coefficient why this term accuracy has arrived here why we have to mention the term accuracy so let us try to find the reason behind that and once we have settled with the reason we have a clear understanding in our mind we have a better intuition we have some theoretical knowledge okay then we can easily go through some formulas and calculate uh, what we want so first thing is that we need to be theoretically sound that why we need to study the accuracy of the estimated coefficient so let us try to answer that let us try to uh, see the intuition behind that okay we will start with an example that uh, suppose you want to calculate the average salary of data scientist and uh, let's say uh, with respect to number of years they have worked in the industry so in india you have to calculate this so to know to calculate each data scientist's uh, experience and salary in india is a very very big task so what i do i calculate the the, the data scientist salary and year of experience in delhi and mumbai and calculated the beta not beta one and i will say that okay the the data scientist at delhi and mumbai some way somehow represent the whole population of data scientists in india okay so there are two key terms one is sample and one is population okay so what we try to do is that we calculate the beta not and beta one with sample that is a delhi and mumbai and we try to predict uh using this sample data points population coefficients which i do predict 
something, some characteristics of population using the characteristics of sample. So here is how some of the error is incorporated into the model and that's why we talk the accuracy of the coefficients beta naught and beta 1. Okay, now to understand it better, let us say that, okay, this much of data scientists are there in India. Okay, and in Delhi, we have this much shaded region of data scientists and this much of shaded region in, uh, let's say, Mumbai. So we are calculating beta naught and beta 1 with only these two data sets and we are ignoring all other points. Hence, the actual beta naught, beta naught actual and beta 1 actual. And these are the beta naught and beta 1 that are representing the population of Delhi and Mumbai. Okay, so either they would underestimate this thing or they would overestimate this thing. Okay, getting my point that either these beta, these beta 1 and beta 1 cannot be equal to this beta 1 and beta 1. This is a very rare case. Okay, uh, uh, the, this rare case is said that the sample exactly represents the population. But this is not the case in our example. So, okay, the beta 0 and beta 1 would be either less than beta 0 and beta 1, that is, they are underestimated, or they can be more than the actual beta 0 and beta 1, that means they are overestimated. So, that is why we need to calculate the accuracy term here with respect to beta 0 and beta 1. So, this is the basic theoretical understanding that why we need to calculate the accuracy why we talk about the accuracy of the coefficients even though we have used some gradient descent techniques or putting some uh, derivatives equal to zero so this is the theoretical understanding once you are clear with that there are some basic formulas incorporated by which you can calculate the accuracy so uh, actually we are not calculating the exact accuracy we are calculating an interval okay suppose you have calculated beta naught and beta 1 what you will do, you will calculate it variance and the variance is also called the standard error in beta naught and that is given by these formula where sigma square in bracket 1 by n plus x bar square divided by summation of xi minus x bar whole square. So x bar represents the mean of feature, any feature, n is the number of observation and sigma square is the variance in standard error this standard error we are talking about okay and the beta 1 okay for variance in beta 1 also we have some formula and what we say that uh, once we have calculated this beta 0 and beta 1 we will calculate the standard error in beta 1 and beta 0 and we will say the actual beta 0 and beta 1 that is representing the population would lie in this interval beta 0 minus 2 standard error in beta 0 uh, 2 beta naught plus 2 standard into beta naught for beta 1 we have the interval beta 1 minus 2 into standard error of beta 1 and beta 1 plus 2 times standard error in beta 1 so these we are getting two intervals and we can say this this 2 represents that with a confidence of 95 percent I can say that the actual beta naught and actual beta 1 that is representing the population would lie in this region okay these formulas are uh, directly taken from the book the introduction to statistical learning so you can go through that section of the book okay so this uh, was something about that why we need to uh, calculate the accuracy in how we calculate the accuracy in beta naught and beta 1 okay